hi everybody and welcome back to my channel let me fix my glasses let me fix my hair let me fix my couch so today i am super duper excited oh my god i didn't even introduce myself hold on wait a minute let's bring that back hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is bb and if this is your first time here welcome and if you're back for another video then welcome back and before we even start, guess what guys, it is a beautiful day to save lives. And today, I am bringing to you guys an updated what is in my bag video. My work bag, my nurse's bag, the bag that I take with me to work, the bag that has all my zhuzh, the bag that just makes my shift that much better. Because if you are a nurse right now and you are working in healthcare, then you understand when I say stuff has changed, we are stressed. We are tired, but we are essential, so here we are, working. So anyways, without further ado, let me tell you guys what is in my bag. I am a shopaholic, I admit it, I know it, it's a problem, so what? So I changed my bag. This is the bag that I am rocking. This just happened, but I'm gonna throw it in the wash. So I just purchased this bag about a week ago, and it is like a weekender bag your O bag, and I absolutely love it. Carry on, whatever you call it. I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see how big it is. Honestly, it is not that big compared to my backpack. And the reason that I really, really love this bag is because one, it zips up all the way, it's large, it fits everything in here. I actually can put my lunch bag in here. Literally everything I need is in this bag. So. That's why I love it. I'm gonna leave a link down below of the brand. I got this bag at TJ Maxx, but I'm pretty sure I can find it somewhere on the internet for you guys, so if you're interested, but I just really, really like this bag. It's so cute, and it's navy, and most of the hospitals I work at, my scrubs are navy, so it matches. It's a whole vibe. So anyway, let's get into what I bring to work with me. Let's start with my badge. So one of the new things that I've been doing that I wasn't doing before is putting a permanent marker and a highlighter onto my badge reel. I don't know why, I'm gonna move in closer because this is how passionate I feel about this. I never used to do this. I would have a permanent marker in my pocket, a highlighter in my pocket, but bro, ever since I started doing it like this and I purchased these on Amazon and put it onto my badge reel, it has been a lifesaver because if I need to date anything, time anything, highlight any notes, it is legit right here when I need it. Guys, I apologize in advance for the light changing. I am in my new apartment, well back to my old apartment, and um, I don't have my whole filming set up, but y'all get the gist. But yeah, I, if you don't have this already, I'm telling you, it is a life changer, it is a game changer. Put your highlighter and your permanent marker onto your badge reel. Like I'm telling you, bro, you will thank me later. Another nursing thing that I have is this. Now, if you've seen another one of my videos or the last one, you've probably seen this, but for those who have not, I'm just gonna let you know that this is also a lifesaver. Also, if you are new to my channel, I am a travel nurse, hello, and currently on a travel assignment in a skilled nursing facility. So I'm actually not in the hospital right now, I'm in a nursing home, and I absolutely love this. I love this especially for my nurses who are working med surge because y'all know, we have to carry all this stuff on a cart. Now, if you're working in ICU, you have like your little desk, or you're not really moving from one room to another, you're pretty stationary, this may not be the most practical, but if you are on that cart and you got patients on this hall and that hall, whatever, I'm telling you, my friend, this is going to be your bestie. And it has this little hook right here that you just hang onto your cow, wow, y'all know what's up. And you can wipe this down with a bleach wipe. I clean this a few times and I put a little note on there. It just says, um, if lost, be returned to my beautiful owner baby hey it is pretty durable and it's hard i'm telling you this also on amazon has been a lifesaver my stethoscope i have had this now for a while the first one i purchased grew legs but this one has been holding on pretty pretty steady and i absolutely love it this is the mdf rose gold stethoscope i hear through it the quality is amazing it cost me about 89 dollars the only thing i will say like i like i said previously i did have this for a minute now the rose gold does scuff up some and i don't even use this like that 
um, because at my last facility, they didn't want us listening to lung sounds, especially on patients with the C word. Um, they wanted respiratory and the doctors to do that, so I really didn't use my stethoscope all that much. But um, I really like this. But a new thing that I did, I added this whole thing. I'm going to show you guys this little contraption right here. I purchased it on Amazon, and it is simply just to hold tape. And it's, once again, it sounds crazy, but when you are working and you got to tape up stuff, you got to do an IV, whatever it is that you may need a piece of tape for to label, this comes in handy because you literally can just rip this off, use the tape, do what you got to do, and keeps it moving. I really, really really like this contraption now you are supposed to kind of screw it on to make it tighter but i have not but i really really like this and once again another thing that i really like about this little blue case that i have you can put your stethoscope in there and secure it and yeah that is pretty awesome let me see if i have anything other nurse related before we get to like the girly stuff okay <laughs> so oh yeah i have two things now this was on my first video but because I'm in long-term care, guys, and this is for my girls who are working long-term care, we don't have the vital machine on wheels that we normally do in the hospital. So this is like my BFF. And the reason that I really, really like this and the girls in the nursing home where I work at have had me order a few of them for them is because we have to take vitals Q4 and sometimes even Q6 on our patients. And it is a pain when you have the elderly patients that have the sweaters and the long sleeve shirts, like regular schmegular clothes, and you have to roll all that up to put on the, um, the blood pressure cuff. So I really, really like this because you literally can snap it onto their wrist. They could be in bed, they could be in the chair very, very quickly and just go to town. Now, this is the other really, really good part. Go it talks it legit will talk and then it will start doing its thing and then when it's i'm gonna keep talking but as soon as it's done doing its thing it is actually going to say what the blood pressure is out loud so what i will typically do is i put this on their wrist and then i'll kind of walk away if i have to do charting if i have to do whatever and then i'll stand by the door or next to them and as soon as i hear what the blood pressure is then i know and i'll write it down i absolutely love this 15 zola on amazon and it comes with this cute little cuff it might not work yeah it didn't work because i was talking and moving my arm but if your patient resident whomever just holds it steady right here then you are good to go i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now I'm telling you right now, if you work long-term care, this is the blood pressure cuff to get. Another thing that I have been using a lot in the long-term care facility, but this is great for my nurses that are doing home health. They're not necessarily in the hospital that always have um, alcohol readily available to them. It is just a little necklace that you can just put your little alcohol um, little pump whatever into it it goes around your neck it has a little clip where you can put it onto your bad drill and it's just there you walk in you do your thing it's cute it's adorable it's a little conversation starter for my residents absolutely love it next thing that i have in my bag that i always bring to work with me is an umbrella guys this is, <laughs> this is for my nurses who are new and you guys are preparing your bag for work and you're like oh my god what should i bring you should always have an umbrella on your bag. This is a little big, and in my next video, I'm probably going to showcase a lot more smaller, lightweight, cuter one, but this is the one that I have in there for now. You always need an umbrella because nothing, nothing is more frustrating then you come into work and it's raining outside and then you have to do the walk of shame and walk into your building drenched in like rain. That's so tacky and people probably look at you crazy. Just get an umbrella, throw it in the bag. You probably will use it once or twice when I'm telling you. The one time you do not have an umbrella, you will regret it. So yes, always keep an umbrella in your bag. All right, next thing. Oh, next thing that I'm super excited about. This is my insulated double wall stainless steel vacuum water bottle, guys, from Target. This water bottle, my last few videos, I'm always changing up my cups for water, but guys, this water bottle, stainless steel insulator, whatever you wanna call it, is the shiz naive. If <laughs> you get this at Target, I'm definitely gonna link it. When I tell you this will keep your water cold, I'm t nothing is more frustrating than you putting your drink in here and then within an hour or a few hours it's hot i have put my water in here and i put ice and i left it in my car came back like six hours later shook it the ice was still solid so when i tell you when i tell you that this is a good insulated cup it's the shiz naive 
On top of that, the reason why I really love this is because of everything that's going on and we know what's everything going on. You do not need your drink to be exposed. What frustrates me more is when I see nurses with cups on top of the nurse's station and the straw is sticking out. Or like any part of the part that you're gonna put your mouth on is exposed. Like when I tell you I cringe, bro, I cringe. So that's another reason why I really, 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 really like this because it screws on all the way. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna link it Amazon. This is the rose gold one, but there's a whole whole bunch of other stuff Now the other thing that I keep with me when I go to work is deodorant Guys deodorant is one of those things that you don't think that you should have it in your bag Until that moment comes when you don't have it in your bag and you really should have had it in your bag This is just one that um I borrowed from the hospital um, and it's a roll-on and I'm telling you guys this is like the best look how tiny this is You can just stick it in your bag you can buy your own whatever But I really 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 like this deodorant. And I always have it in my bag because sometimes Like I said sometimes you forget you're in a rush whatever and you show up to work and you do one of these and you're like Oh snap, I forgot to put deodorant on that's why you need this. I am obsessed Next we have this <laughs> it's pretty small but this is one of those other things that are really really important mine is empty right now but i put my glasses in here ladies if you can or and gentlemen if you're watching this if you wear contacts i always recommend if you have to bring a pair of glasses with you to work whatever your prescription is because you never know when you are going to tear a lens you may get some splash in your eye whatever it may be may happen always bring a pair of glasses with you or an extra pair of contacts for me, I just have this case in here because I just put my glasses in here and I do have another pair, but I don't know where it is. But I always, always, always keep a pair of glasses with me when I'm going to work. This is just a little makeup bag. This is another thing that I like to do and I just put everything that I may need in a little makeup bag for work. And these are just things, like I said, you don't really think about. This is just a little perfume thing. Nothing strong, nothing crazy, but like I said, sometimes you just smell a little funky, sometimes you're a little pick-me-up or what is. And I really, really like this just to kind of give me a little zhuzh before I start my shift or in the middle of the night or whatever. Lip gloss, lipstick, always keep one of these. Definitely chapstick, most important, because nobody wants to see with chappy lips. And also, the worst feeling in the world, leave a comment down below if you agree with me, is when you have dry lips and you just, and they're, don't get me started. Always bring yourself an extra pair of chapstick. I just have some lip gloss in here. I also just have a little calming spray, mood mist. And this is just for me, because sometimes I'll go around and it smells like poo or UTI. Um, especially because I work in long-term care. There's a lot of odors around. And sometimes I just need my calm mist to kind of... It, sometimes it's just necessary. So that's why I have it. Next, I have a tampon. This is another thing that's frustrating. God forbid this happens while you're at work. You always want to have an extra tampon. Or if one of your girlfriends at work, one of your co-workers has a little whatever, you always just want to have an extra tampon. I just keep one in there. I also just keep a scrunchie because you never know when you just want to pull that hair back. It breaks. Whatever happens, just happens. And just a little thing of lotion that I have. Hands are dry. Whatever. Guys, some people might look at this and think it's a little excessive, but first of all, it's just a matter of convenience. You want to be comfortable. For me now, especially that I'm working long-term care, we do eight-hour shifts, and sometimes I'll work an extra shift, and it turns into 16 hours. So for 16 hours, I'm in a building that I cannot always leave depending on my workload. These are the little things that make my life that much easier and keeps me happy, keeps me chipper, and keeps my patients happy and chipper because when I'm happy, they're happy. Next, let's move on. I always like to keep, I'm trying to find where the random stuff, this is just another thing, a lotion, um, a pencil, because sometimes you don't want to use a pen, just throw a pencil in there, it's not that big of a deal, it doesn't take that much room, a scissor, I always have a scissor with me, who knows, I may need to cut a wound, dressing, something, whatever, just always have a scissor, because for some reason, scissors grow legs at every facility that I've ever worked at, I don't understand why. What else do I have in here that I want to share with you guys? Oh, a phone charger for those extra long shifts. So guys, this is an idea. Always label your chargers because guess what? They always grow legs and you're going to be really upset, especially if you have that iPhone charger that looks like everybody else's iPhone charger. So I just take a piece of tape. I put my name on it. I'll leave it by the nurse's station. I'm not greedy. I'll share, but just make sure you give it back. 
So that is what this is. Um, that's just, you know, a little something something that I do. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show you guys that I bring to work with me is these little Ziploc bags. I absolutely love these. These are the ones that have the little zoop zoop. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like zoop zoop. So this is one of those bags that I bring with me to work. And it has tea. It has water electrolyte. It has sweeteners. Okay, I'm going to put you guys up on this. If you have it by you, then great. If you don't, I'm so sorry. But I have found these at Dollar Tree. For some reason, I did my last videos and I was telling people I have stuff at the dollar store and then somebody was like, you need to verify. There's Dollar Tree, there's Dollar General, there's Dollar Store. This is Dollar Tree, the green one. This is the True Lemon, made from lemon packet and I just put this in my water and bro, I'm obsessed with lemon water so if you really like lemon water, then this is for you. I literally just throw it in there and it tastes like fresh squeezed lemons in my water. Who is calling me? Mm, he's annoying um so yeah i do that and i also bring my slim tea and this is just a tea that i've been drinking for a while it's supposed to help like i don't know get the water out of me and make me less bloated but what else this is my wrigley's light low calorie drink mix you put this and this together bro magic happens so i just put all my little contraptions in here and i just be ready to go Next, I have my little brown sugar oatmeal thing that I absolutely love and I just keep that in here in a Ziploc bag as well and I just throw this stuff in here and I typically will have a granola bar or whatever and that's just, I need to snack. I work night shift guys and if I don't snack on something and something preferably healthy, it'll be a problem. It will be a problem. I also have my journal <laughs> I love my journal it's absolutely adorable this is where I plan my YouTube videos what's going on I do this on my break if there is downtime I'll whip it out don't at me about this whole oh my god how can't you have all this extra time to do this I don't always have extra time to do this but sometimes I do let's be honest and I need to stay up and not you know not stay up so that's why I have this with me and to plan my YouTube videos so I can bring you guys more quality content. Hello? Oh my gosh, there was one other thing that I needed to show you guys. I don't understand how I forgot. Okay, it was two other things that I didn't show you guys that I bring to work with me. And it is this pen. Now, this pen is not just cute, but it is also practical, which is what I recently found. Now, if you are a new nurse and you love pens or just like a pen connoisseur, one of the things that I have found that I really dislike is when I lose the cap of my pens and then I throw it in my bag, I throw it in my pocket, or I throw it in whatever container and then all of a sudden I have random markings anywhere. This may sound very, very simple, but one of the main reasons why I absolutely love this pen, other than that it was unique, I got it at Dollar Tree, it's cute, is the fact that the tip of it, you can just roll up, okay, when you're done, so that way you don't have to worry about when your ink wants to have a mind of its own and not you're not using it this is one of those things that i really do appreciate and i really like about these pens obviously you don't have to get something that's bedazzled and be jeweled like this but definitely i would invest in a pen that just rolls up like this because i'm telling you it's just it's super frustrating when you have pens without caps i also have a whole bunch of of these hats the surgical hats that everyone's been wearing because of everything that's going on in the world and i absolutely love this one i love all the ones i have to be totally honest i just found this one so i wanted to show you you can get these at etsy you can get these at work when i was in boston a whole bunch of them were donated to our facility so that's how i got like so much of them and actually this is something cute guys if you know a company or if you know somebody who is making these leave a comment down below because not every nurse has access to these I have so many and I was so surprised when I came back down to Georgia that a lot of the nurses couldn't find these anywhere and they didn't even know where you can get them. So if you have an Etsy link or the plug or you know whatever to help a nurse find themselves a cute little hat or anybody who's in healthcare, please leave it down below so we can help each other and I will also do the same. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for moi. That is the end of my video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of stuff. But, you know, I'm that person. I have to have everything I need so I can be comfortable and be the best nurse I can be. So if you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Please do not forget to leave a comment down below. Please do not forget to follow my channel. And with that being said, I will see you guys at the next one. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you lots. Please be safe out there. 
and hopefully we can get through this together. Bye.